London the cameras had barely finished flashing on the newly engaged Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But Emma Bridgewater, a British ceramics manufacturer, was already making a mug to commemorate the royal moment. The next week, just under 1,000 mugs with Harry and Meghan are engaged, and the date of the announcement on them were on sale. They retailed online for around £20, or $27, and sold out within 24 hours. From crockery emblazoned with official portraits to solar-powered toys with the Queen's characteristic wave, Britain's monarchy is big business. And that royal economy, normally catering to tourists and enthusiasts, kicks into high gear around major events. It's a flash of color in a rather gray world, said Emma Bridgewater, the eponymous founder of the ceramics company. Britain's royal family will contribute an estimated £1.8 billion to the country's economy this year, according to Brand Finance, a consulting firm. The bulk of that was £550 million from tourism. Brand Finance estimates that travellers in town for Prince Harry's wedding, scheduled for the spring, will bring an additional £500 million next year. Roughly one-tenth of that amount is expected to come from merchandise sales. Enthusiastic collectors like Margaret Tyler are a discerning audience. A dedicated royalist, M.S. Tyler, 73, has filled her home in northwest London with commemorative items, including a copy of the Issa dress that Kate Middleton wore during the announcement of her engagement to Prince William, and a little glass dish with a picture of Queen Elizabeth II that started her collection. One of her rooms is dedicated solely to Princess Diana, and another to the Queen, which she rents out for £75 a night. Insurers have valued her collection at £40,000. I would like nice proper bone china stuff, M.S. Tyler said of the merchandise surrounding the latest royal wedding. I don't buy everything. I've got to like it. Royal fever is a capitalist tradition in Britain. Royal Crown Derby, a porcelain manufacturer, has been making commemorative products since the coronation of King George III in 1760. January Hugo, a 59-year-old collector with 10,000 pieces who is based in New South Wales, Australia, has teapots dating back to Queen Victoria's reign. I think they just look for an excuse to be able to do it, every time there's a birth, wedding, engagement, anniversary, anything, ms. Hugo said. When Prince William married in 2011, the high-end British department store Fortnum and Mason sold a wedding breakfast blend tea from Kenya, where he proposed. The Lego-themed amusement park Legoland made a brick replica of Buckingham Palace, complete with the bride, groom and assorted well-wishers. The pizza delivery chain Papa John's even turned their faces into a pizza. MS Bridgewater's company has sold over 35,000 pieces of pottery based around Prince William's wedding and has produced 15 different commemorative mugs for events ranging from Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's wedding in 1986, to the birth of Prince William's second child, Princess Charlotte, in 2015. The company has annual sales of about £20 million.